So I've taken it out of the uh, mould for now to finish it off. That's the only connector that needs heat shrinking, I think. I've got to remove all the cable ties and uh, tape up wherever necessary, but you can see that when I move it around, there's hardly any individual movement of the coils. Cable ties have got to go. So yeah, pretty slick, I think. Like I say, far from perfect, but now the job is to get them in the mold and squash them down. It's just a. Uh, this stuff takes time. You know, even though they don't look like they're wound very well, they still have to be done. And uh, practice makes perfect, as they say. And I shall just repeat one more time. Yes, the cable ties have got to go. There's the outs. There's the ins. Lovely jubbly. So yes, we shall see. Sweet. This is what the inside of the mould looks like. And... What I've got to do is I've got to sort out all these holes and the best way to do this is going to be to use this tape, foil tape. So these bits will have to be done around the island. You can see it's got a bevel on it. Then the secondary obviously this goes on. Stator goes in, and your lid goes on like so. And there's four bolt holes at the moment, but there will be more. And they will be sandwiched in there. Yeah, all the holes, any imperfections have to be got rid of. And covering this tape. Job done, ready to go. So this is what I'm doing with the inside of the mould as I'm using the four inch uh, metal tape. I was going to say metallic or metalised, but aluminium. I've cut some bits in half, so I'm using two inches to go around the edges. <coughs> and then I will need to do the centre. You can see the bevel on the centre to make the assembly will stay in and the coil, the coil assembly stator will come out. Sweet. So a bit of an update, been working on the magnet discs. Obviously the magnets are in a pretty grotty shape after getting pulled out of the garden. As you can see there, what I've done, I've used some silver mesh to fashion some little channels basically like channels that fit in here you can see it's glued to that that side of the magnet <coughs> excuse me then to the disc itself and then to there so i'm hoping when that fills with resin it will add some uh, backup but i had quite a lot of that on hand with steel mesh fine stuff Yeah, I don't see uh, how they could have any negative side effects. It will need trimming up a bit, but I'm going to show you some close-ups so you can see what I've done. This is the other disc and it's in the process of having all that drying. So I've left tape on to push it against the side. This one also has got a, a rim, which is made out of the same stuff. So when the uh, resin goes in, it, it'll fill up to the edge and there's a little bit of that stuff as well to reinforce it. So that's the disc, so they, I've got to make islands for them and then they may get their resin put in tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Sweet! And here is the stator which is done and can be moved around without falling apart. Labeled. 
So yeah, but that's looking good. So that's progress for today. A lot of work. Peace.